This is an era where we will see China come to the forefront in incredible ways. Has nothing to do with the Chinese people. They're some of my favorite people. Has the most dynamic church. We've been all over China. Has one of the, I've been involved with that church since the 80s. It has the most dynamic church that one of them that you can even imagine. But the administration and the governments of China has a great agenda. Now, I wrote about that in March 2020 about when we entered into this pandemic season. And uh, we have to understand that there's more to all this than the eye meets. And we have to know that we are a people above all people. We're a kingdom above all kingdom. And there ain't nothing going on down here that we can't see through. Tell somebody, you're about to see through some things you couldn't see through in last season. Now, that's why we're here in New York. Because it's one of God's key cities. It's one of God's key cities for us to be in. And uh, he hasn't decided yet about California. So let's don't all just pray it off into the ocean somewhere because <laughs> he hadn't made that decision yet and we're still pressing through with him on it. Just like they did. Remember, he told Abraham, if you'd have just found one person in Sodom and Gomorrah, I'd have saved a whole bunch of them. Uh, but evidently, there wasn't one, you know. So we're still pressing in on that. Now, uh, this era is also about your voice and what we say. So how we're prophesying. We couldn't have been in a better meeting this morning. How we're prophesying is so key for us. What we're speaking, because see, we carry his name within us, Shaman, within us. And he knit it together. And when you're giving him your spirit and submitting your spirit to him, his name is coming alive in your spirit man. Therefore, Shaman means air. It means atmosphere. And when you're speaking that prophetic word that has his name on it, it's going into your atmosphere and rearranging all of the elements of that atmosphere. That's why we prophesy. You have been doing that a long time up here. Jody and I have, we go way back and have gone all over the city doing it. And yet, God is saying, now you have come to the era that what you say will take action with what has been said, and I will start an acceleration of movement now. So it's really important we look at that. And so... We are actually in an apostolic season, not a, a pastoral season. And because of that, the apostolic characteristics are building. And this will help you. It's not a per just a person. It's a, it's a people that have shifted into a type of rule. And they're, bu they're building. They're governing. They're warring. They're finishing what has been started in other seasons that have never been finished. And they're bringing things that got started in one season into the next season. Then they're sending. That's actually what the word means. Sending you, like tonight, like this morning, we'll send you out of here to accomplish something. And every place your foot steps, something will happen new. And then you are integrating generations, mothering and fathering generations. I wrote one book with Linda Heidler called The Apostolic Woman because if there's two things the church didn't like, it was apostolic and it was woman. 
So I just, we just put them together and call the whole book that. And it's a really important book to read because women are rising up this season as, as a key army weapon of the Lord. And we're going to see that happening. Now, with that, because the heavens are shifting so much, God showed me that uh, harvest sight uh, through the, going through the heavens. And what it's doing is realigning the nations. Well, we couldn't be in a better place for that to happen. Queens. And so these nations are all realigning. And we're not, it, we're not sure yet what they're all going to look like, but they're all realigning. I will tell you this. There will be a confederation of nations set against God's plan in the earth realm. And that will come to the forefront over these next four years. And therefore, if we don't make this shift now, we won't be able to confront that confederation properly. And we're going to confront it. And that's why God, in March of 2020, divide, divided, uh, decided at Passover to have this divine pause. He said, you know, I pulled all of my people out of Egypt, and you've read about it and read about it at Passover. See, pay is a Passover. Passover is a pay word. So it was easy for us the prior August to hear the Lord say, this Passover will be historical. Well, that was March 2020. He pulled aside not just his people and had them go behind the door and have Passover. He pulled aside all the Gentiles as well. He said, I will start now forming my one new man without the walls in between them that will advance forward as one. So that says to me this trip to Israel is for us to decree that something major starts shifting that will realign the world structure. Well, that's going to affect New York like never before. Because New York is a world city. And it is a city where there is a strong remnant. Now, poke somebody on the other side and said, I know he's talking about you. 